and we're back. Hello and welcome back to With The Tea. My name is Tatiana and on this channel we discuss growth, business and self-improvement. You know how I am, we're all about fast content. You didn't click on this video to be bored, so let's get into it. Today we're gonna be talking about how to win people over, how to influence people and get them on your side. The basis of today's content is gonna come from the book. I don't know what this camera's doing, but how to win friends and influence people by Dale Carnegie. My book is destroyed, so I'll insert a clip somewhere. So I'm gonna talk about the five things that I narrowed down based off my experience thing that I've been through to gain friends easily or you know just have somebody on your side when you need that or influence people or whatever you want to do this has worked for me I've read the book I will start by saying that I am acceptable to communication I like communication I took classes for communication I like to converse with other people so these tips that I'm gonna give you shortly are gonna take some practice if you're not used to this so the first thing is gonna be say their name people love to hear their name say my name I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be vain. I love to hear my name. I give you the basis of say their name. When you're in conversation, say, oh, Brittany, that sounded great. Or Terry, that was amazing when you mentioned this. People love to hear their name being called. This is a tip that is outside the book, but when I converse and I talk to people, I like to give them a short nickname and that is coming from me, not directly from them. And when you start building relationships with people and you're getting to know someone, of course you're gonna call them by what they want you to call them. However, when that time goes on and you've built that relationship, yes, relationships and communication and conversing take time. For example, when I walk in and I see my friend Robin, we've been communicating for a very long time, I call her now Robbie. And when I see her, I was like, hey Robbie, how's it going? And she'll say, hey Tati. I've learned that when I was talking to her previously, she was like, oh Tati, I love that you call me Robbie. My sister and my mother call me Robbie. Beep, beep, bing, ding, ding, ding. Look what we just, we just created. We created a relationship that establishes trust, that influence each other. Like she now can influence me and I now can influence her. So I would say do that. However, do that with caution because some people don't like to be called certain things or they prefer certain things. So the next thing that I suggest you do when you're trying to win influence people listen and provide feedback that's it all right zip it this goes out for my talkers out there I'll I'll jump scare. Scare. <laughs> and there are people out there that know how to listen and win people over and that's all you have to do engage in the conversation listen to them and provide feedback if you're establishing a real good connection then that rapport will go back and forth okay you'll be able to talk he or she be able to talk i will go back and forth but at first you need to listen provide feedback and let them talk three my third tip on trying to win people over okay that is going to be find a common denominator between you two okay some people love art some people love fashion some people love psychology some people love like me self improvement find that about that person that is how you get in your circle and i will say tip 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 the best thing to do for yourself when you're trying to improve is to learn about everything have an idea or opinion. The best thing you could do is walk into a conversation and kind of have an opinion about certain things. Expand your brain. You should be able to reach a common denominator with people, okay? Especially when you're getting to know more people or people in different circles or people in power. It's important to have your opinion. Find a common denominator. Lastly, my favorite thing is body language. People don't understand the power of body language. You could tell that I'm leaning in. You could tell that I'm enthusiastic. You could tell, well, I don't know, you decide. But for me, I love to constantly smile. I love to constantly laugh. I love to constantly just be a little bubbly. I love to be energetic. Guess what? That sends sparks into people's head and says, oh wow, she's just so fun to be around. She's so smiley. She's so bright. She's like the sun. Boom, boom, boom. Don't be a Debbie Downer. Don't walk around with your head low. You need to be high in spirit, high in energy. Guess what? That keeps people coming to you. People are attracted to light and brightness. You have to continue to watch your body language. Pick your head up, lean forward, engage, smile. Body language is key, okay? So guys, I just wanted to give you a quick little video of how to win friends and influence people on my perspective and my experience, okay? And I also just wanna leave you with, you got this. Don't worry about anybody else. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.